Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are continuing the series of service catalog. You can go to the playlist of service catalog here. This one. It has around 13 to 14 videos. One by one, you can go through all these and come back to today's video where we are discussing catalog client script. If you want to see this information in Hindi, we have a channel called ServiceNow Help Text Hindi. You can go there and find the same. Uh, playlist in Hindi as well. Okay, so let's get started This is my demo. This is the catalog item where I will create uh, the catalog client script Scroll to the bottom you see catalog client scripts. There are total three type of client scripts in any service catalog That is uh, on load on change and on submit. Okay, so I have created all three of them Okay, so now let me show you one by one all the scripts and then we will demo it. Okay, so this is the onload client script here you have to provide the type so I have selected onload so this applies to this catalog item and you have the option to apply it at catalog view requested item view and catalog task view it means whatever processing whatever the script is doing at the catalog if you want to replicate the same in the variable section of RITM that is requested item and task as well so in that case you have to select these options so in this script I am basically displaying one alert so as soon as the catalog item loads it will show this alert okay so in case you want to write a script you have to write it within this function only that is within all load functions okay just put a space here and write all the logic of your script in order to understand the scripting properly we have separate videos separate playlist is going on in this video, I'm just demoing the types of this uh, catalog client scripts. That's why I'm using only alert. Okay, so this is how the all load script work. Then we go to on change. As soon as you select the type on change, you have to provide the name of the variable that is on change of value of which variable you want this script to work. So we want if anyone changes anything in this variable, then only this particular script works. Again, you see you have to write everything in on change function only and these are the four out of box objects which are available Okay, we can use all these objects and use these objects in scripting. I have used these objects just to show the alert Okay, so is loading is loading is coming from here It means it is telling you whether the form is loading or not. Okay, that's what is loading object is returning then you have the new value new value is the the change in the value of this particular variable on which we have written the script that is new email then I'm using the control object you see this is the control object and it is providing the complete element of that particular uh, variable that is the variable of new email so I'll show you uh, when we test it okay so this is how you write the script in this particular on change okay so when it will execute whenever somebody change anything in this variable okay so now let's go to third type of script that is on submit so here whenever we submit the form that is whenever we order the form okay whenever we order the catalog item then this particular script will work so again here also I am just displaying the alert just remember whatever you have to write you have to write within the scope of these functions in all three types like on submit on change and on load so now we have all the scripts uh, Explained so now let me reload this and show you how the script is working. Let's reload As soon as I reloaded you see the very first that is the on load in on load We have this alert right welcome to service now 911 So as soon as the form load you see this particular alert box click on ok and then we have this uh, Email address here. This is my new email variable. Let me make some change here op at the rate email.com okay so i'm done i have added the value let me click outside so as soon as i clicked outside it means something has changed in this variable that's why uh, the on chain script is now started loading why it is showing false because the form is not loading right now it is completely loaded already that's why we have false here then we have the new value object so it is providing the value of this email address that we have entered okay then we click ok it is coming control dot name so it is giving this name it is not the name of this variable it is the name of this complete element okay so I will show you that is uh, uh, from where we get the element 
and then control value is the value inside this variable again the same thing so now let me uh, just right click here click on inspect you see here this is the element right io65 something and then double d so the same name we were getting because this particular uh, row is representing the complete element so using this we can get anything from this particular variable so if you want to use control object you can use and you can fetch the values from the web page accordingly and then finally once we are done click on order as soon as we click on order it means we are submitting the form so you are seeing the message that is the alert which is coming on on submit okay so now click ok so as soon as uh, it is done it will submit the form and create a request you know the process after that okay so this is how all these three type of scripts are working if you want to do any processing using script you can do so how to script how to use the apis and all we will discuss in separate video but in today's video we understood the types of scripts which are available at catalog level okay and what all are the objects available out of box which we can use so this is it for today's video thank you so much bye bye